Cape Cast. Oh man, it's not even seven in the morning. And here in North Chatham, the Union Jack is already out. Must be time for a wedding. Michael Middleton, Kate's parents, Prince Charles, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, James Middleton, and Pippa Middleton, Kate's siblings. Well, so Ginger, this has been a rousing success. How do you think the wedding went? What's your predictions for the future for this couple? I think this one's going to be a success. The last two didn't work out, but I think this one is going to be just fine. And talk about the yeah. spirit of this party here. This, oh, well, I think we're all Anglophiles at heart. Um, they're just so special. I particularly like the horses. Now, why do you do this? Get this crazy group of beautiful women in hats and everything together to celebrate this. At four o'clock in the morning? Um, well, it's because they all are just as interested in this as I am. And who wants to sit home and watch it by yourself? Or to watch it with your husband who really doesn't give a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've even got the royal family here by the teapot. Oh. <laughs> oh man, what a, this is really, now this is crazy. Kate, uh, how you feeling? A little nervous. I don't mean to break in here, it was a big day. How did William do? He didn't smile quite enough. He didn't look like he was having as much fun. Is he going to be a good husband? You're going to straighten this guy out? Yes, yes. Congratulations. Have a great honeymoon. Thank you. We say, no, I'm not sure where we're going. I'm afraid that uh, the Queen is going to bypass me and Charles, and it's going to go on down to Will and Kate, and I won't be. Let's get that straightened out right now. Yeah. Queen, what's going to happen? you going right to Will and Kate? Are you going to skip your own son and Camilla? What's going on? The only power I have left is in my silence and to keep everybody waiting and they on bated breath. So I, I'm going to wield that power of, of secrecy for Ever. Your Majesty, thank you. Your You're Majesty, quite welcome. You. After being quickly knighted in North Chatham, we jetted down to Katamit where a good time was being had at a royal wedding party at the Labyrinth House. They're staying, taking their vows. This morning, I have a number of my closest friends from different walks of my life. About a week ago, I got the idea that we need to, we're all going to be doing the same thing, watching the royal wedding. Why not do it together? Make a party out of it. We have um, pictures of people's weddings and gowns from, oh, 30 years ago. We have people with hats, we have people with jewels. Now we're all sitting around the TV with cups of tea and enjoying our coffee and scones and uh, making comment on the, on the royal wedding. Uh-oh, uh-oh. She didn't lose enough weight. <laughs> 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 it was grand. It was simply everything that I thought it would be, I hoped it would be, and the royal couple looks absolutely in love with each other, which is so nice. It's so nice to see a, a happy wedding. My neighbor, Julie, has brought some homemade scones. They're in the oven now. The table is full of candles, rhubarb coffee cake, a frittata quiche. I think there's going to be a lot of those coming through. I'll put her in the window. Solar powered waving. She's a solar powered waver. That is amazing. <laughs> they love her. They're, they're, they're green over there. They would absolutely love her. It was regal. It was just regal. Uh, it takes us out of our humdrum every day to know that uh, there are some traditions and everyone has their traditions, but this tradition has been going on for centuries. Cape Cast.